Hello and welcome to Baiju's exam prep IAS. Today's big news is a Satlaj Yamuna link canal dispute between the states of Punjab and Haryana. We will be discussing the background of this dispute. How did this dispute start between the states of Punjab and Haryana? Why is it in the news and what is it that the two states want out of this? But before we go deeper into this, a gentle reminder, yesterday marked the beginning of the Target Prelims 2022 crash course on the Baiju's exam prep app. Thousands of students have already registered there and are taking advantage of this free crash course which is for 50 days and will cover the entire syllabus of the UPSC prelims examination. All that you have to do is download the app and register. Every single day you will get a quiz of 25 questions and the following day the respective subject faculty will be discussing those questions and will also take up your doubts. This program is entirely free and will cover current affairs and the static portion as well. All you have to do is download the Baiju's exam prep app. Now let's go back to the big news of the day and, and this is a Satlaj Yamuna link canal issue. The reason why this is in the news is that the Haryana Assembly has taken up this issue once again and has also said that we demand that the Hindi speaking areas from the state of Punjab be transferred to Haryana. Now this comes just a few days after the Punjab Assembly had passed a resolution seeking immediate transfer of Chandigarh to the state. As you know, Chandigarh right now is a joint capital between Punjab and Haryana, but Punjab has been demanding that it is their right to have complete control over Chandigarh. Now this issue of the Satla Jamuna link canal is pretty old and it goes back to 1960. It was 1960 that the Indus Water Treaty was signed mediated by the World Bank between India and Pakistan. This treaty led to the division of six rivers that is Indus and its five tributaries between India and Pakistan. India got the right to free and unrestricted use of the rivers of Ravi, Bayas and Satlaj while Indus, Chenab and Jhelum were given to Pakistan. Now, although this was divided between India and Pakistan, there was no issue within India because at that time, Punjab was undivided, but did not have the state of Haryana or Himachal Pradesh. It was in 1966 that Haryana finally came into being divided from Punjab and this is where the problem started. Haryana said that because we have been carved out of Punjab, we also need a share of rivers, waters that is flowing through Punjab. Haryana said that in order to get our share, what we suggest is from Satlaj and its tributary Bayas, there should be a canal that should link Satlaj with the Yamuna canal. On the map, you can see this is the canal that we talk about. The dotted portion of this canal is the portion in Punjab. This is still not being built. While this portion has been completed, the 92 km portion Haryana has already completed, but one 22 km long portion of Punjab has still not been completed. Now, when this discussion first started in 1960s, Punjab point blank refused. They said that we are following the riparian principle. Riparian principle simply says that water of a river belongs to only that state or that country from where the river is flowing. Meaning that you cannot artificially divert a river just because you want to give water to some other state. And that is why we don't want to give any water to Haryana. Obviously, Haryana did not like it. So a lot of negotiations went on in 1970s. And finally, in 1981, both the states agreed that, okay, we will have certain relocation of water. Punjab also agreed with that. And with that, in 1982, started the construction of this canal. As you can see here, in 1982, the construction started from a place called the Kapuri village in Punjab. However, as soon as the construction started, there were a lot of agitation and protests in Punjab, especially from the farmer class who feared that now they won't have enough water for their agricultural activities. And that is why soon after that, the construction activities stopped in Punjab. Haryana thus in 1996 went to the Supreme Court. They asked the Supreme Court to intervene and asked the court to direct Punjab to complete their work on this link canal project. Supreme Court heard the matter and they directed the Punjab government to take appropriate step and to complete this construction. Now Punjab obviously was not going to accept it because they knew that the common people of Punjab are not in support of this. And when the elections come, no political party would want to take a chance and anger the people of Punjab who think that it is their right to have complete control over the water of the Satlaj River. Thus, in 2004, the Punjab Assembly passed a law called the Punjab Termination of Agreements Act. 
it said that we are terminating all the water sharing agreements that we had done with Haryana. Now, this was a unilateral action taken by Punjab and Haryana was very angry with this. As per Haryana, there was a bilateral agreement signed between Punjab and Haryana and how can one single state take back its promise from the other state. Thus, the next important milestone took place in 2016. In 2016, the president of India sent a presidential reference to the Supreme Court. As you would know, under Article 143, the President of India has the power to ask for any legal advice from the Supreme Court of India, which is not binding on the President. So this was a presidential reference given to the Supreme Court in 2016, in which the Supreme Court said that the law passed by the Punjab Assembly is unconstitutional and it should not be allowed. In 2020, the Supreme Court directed the Chief Ministers of both the states to come together, negotiate and settle the matter and the matter should be mediated by the center government. Now, no progress has happened on this matter since then. One of the reasons for this may be is that Haryana and the center government are both ruled by the same political party that is the BJP, while on the other hand, Punjab is ruled by the Aam Admi Party. So the Punjab government now thinks that if the center government comes to mediate on this issue between the two states, they will not be neutral in their approach and they would most probably favor the Haryana government. And that is why Punjab, which is mostly ruled by non-BJP parties only, does not really want the BJP to come in between because they would favor the Haryana government. Now, if you look at the background of this before 1960s, how was water divided? Before the reorganization in 1955, Ravi and Bias in total had 15 MAF of water. MAF means million acre feet per year, out of which 8 MAF was given to Rajasthan, 7.2 to Punjab and 0.65 to Jammu and Kashmir. Punjab made it very clear that out of the 7.2 MAF allotted to us, we do not want to share any of this water with Haryana. So this 7.2 MAF is what Punjab is holding on to. Now, why is it that Punjab is so against sharing any water with Haryana? They have their own concerns. The major concern is that Punjab is facing severe water crisis due to over exploitation of underground water, mainly because of the choice of crops that they have made to grow year after year. Punjab mainly grows wheat and paddy. Both of these are water intensive crops. That is why it has resulted in a lot of exploitation of groundwater. So much so that there's a report by the Central Groundwater Authority which says that 79% of the state of Punjab is over exploiting its underground water. Thus, Punjab is fast moving towards desertification, which has become a real possibility in a state which is the evergreen state of India. Thus, the threat is real and the Punjab state does not want to take any chances by giving away their precious water resources to the state of Haryana. That is why they have not really gone ahead and constructed this canal on the Punjab side. Now, interestingly, Punjab is not saying that we will not give any water to Haryana. Punjab's demand is that we want a new tribunal to be set up. They are saying that the agreements done in 1970s and 1980s are outdated, mainly because the amount of water in the river now and the amount of water in the river earlier is very different. The amount of water has reduced and that is why the demand made from the side of Haryana is now unreasonable and there should be a new agreement signed. Once we have a scientific assessment of the water available in the Punjab rivers, then we can take a call on how to transfer excess water. But right now, without any scientific assessment, we are not in a position to support that demand from Haryana. This is the demand of Punjab and this is what they're expecting as the next step ahead, but that has not happened. This is all that you need to know about the Satlaj Yamuna link canal issue. Thank you so much for watching the video.